Deep below the surface, in waters untouched by sunlight, a creature grows at a speed almost unmatched in the marine world. In just two years, a jumbo squid can reach nearly 6.6 .6 feet in length and weigh close to 110 pounds. They travel in massive groups, rising from the deep at night like a moving red cloud. Together, they hunt with sharp precision, relying on instinct, coordination, and the cover of darkness. But tonight, their hidden world meets a powerful human presence. As daylight fades and the ocean turns pitch black, crews on board large commercial vessels prepare for a demanding harvest. The sea appears calm, but the sudden burst of bright LED lights cuts through the darkness, forming a glowing path that draws entire schools of jumbo squid upward. What begins as a quiet shimmer soon becomes the moment when these skilled predators swim into the reach of fishermen who have spent years mastering this dangerous nighttime work. Every second becomes essential. The first squid that hits the line signals the start of a process that must move quickly to preserve quality. Once brought aboard, each squid is placed immediately into chilled storage deep inside the vessel. The crew understands that the way they handle these early moments determines the freshness that will follow the squid all the way to shore. From here, the journey will continue at the port, where the catch is unloaded, rinsed, and transferred into refrigerated trucks headed straight for the processing plant. From the silence of the open sea to the precision of the factory floor, everything begins with this tense, mesmerizing scene, a moment when the ocean reveals its giants and the crew must be ready. Before we move deeper into the real action of jumbo squid harvesting in part two, tell me this. If a 110-pound squid suddenly rose beside your boat in the dark, would you choose one? You'd face it or zero. You'd step back, comment your number, and subscribe to stay with us through the entire journey. As the ocean grows darker, the real work begins. The crew positions themselves around the deck, while large commercial vessels prepare their automatic jigging machines, specialized equipment designed to lower multiple lures deep into the water. Each lure glimmers under the reflection of the deck lights, imitating the movement of prey that jumbo squid naturally target. Once deployed, dozens of lines sink into the dark, pulsing rhythmically as the machines lift and drop them in steady motion. Not far away, smaller coastal boats join the harvest using thick hand lines equipped with several barbed hooks. These fishermen rely on physical strength and experience, feeling every vibration through the rope. When a squid latches on, they know instantly. The tension changes, the line jerks sharply, and the battle begins. Pulling up a large squid is never easy. The animal thrashes intensely, and its powerful tentacles can wrap around anything within reach. Even more dangerous is its sharp beak, capable of delivering a painful bite if handled poorly. The nature of this work makes the night harvest unpredictable. Rough waves, sudden wind shifts, and the sheer strength of the squid create a high-risk environment. Crews stay alert, communicating constantly to avoid accidents. But despite the hazards, moments of success come quickly. As the LEDs blaze across the water, their intense brightness attracts entire schools of squid toward the surface. It's a strategy used worldwide in squid harvesting, and on nights like this, it transforms a quiet ocean into a field of glowing activity. Each time a squid is brought aboard, it's transferred immediately toward the chilled holding area on deck. The team repeats this cycle, lowering lines, waiting for the strike, lifting each catch with precision. Some nights bring a steady rhythm, Others bring bursts of frantic action as multiple squid hit at once. But no matter the pace, the goal remains the same. Harvest responsibly, keep the squid fresh, and prepare for the next phase of their journey once the vessel heads back toward port. After several long nights on the water, the vessel finally turns towards shore with its chilled storage packed full. Every jumbo squid taken aboard during the harvest has been kept at low temperatures to maintain firmness and freshness. As the coastline appears in the distance, the pace on deck shifts. The crew prepares to unload the catch, knowing that timing is essential for the next stage of processing. Once the vessel reaches the dock, workers move quickly. Large plastic tubs are lifted from the refrigerated holds, each filled with freshly harvested squid. These tubs are carefully stacked to prevent crushing the delicate mantle and tentacles. On some vessels, 
Crane nets equipped with built-in weighing systems are used to hoist the squid directly from the ship. This allows the team to record the weight instantly as each load rises from the hold, ensuring accuracy without slowing the workflow. On the dock, the squid are given their first thorough rinse. Clean water washes away salt, sand, and debris collected during the harvest. This simple step is crucial. It prevents impurities from entering the processing line and helps maintain the bright, clean appearance expected for premium squid products. From here, the work shifts to transportation. The freshly rinsed squid are transferred into refrigerated trucks waiting alongside the dock. Inside these trailers, cold air circulates continuously to preserve texture and quality during the short trip to the processing facility. Every minute counts. The goal is to move the squid from the vessel to the plant as quickly as possible, so the detailed work of cleaning and preparation can begin without delay. As the trucks pull away from the harbor, the harvest transitions into its next phase. What began in the deep, dark ocean is now entering a controlled environment where precision, cleanliness, and skilled hands will determine the final quality of every piece. Inside the processing facility, the atmosphere shifts from the movement of the harbor to the precision of controlled production. The freshly delivered squid are unloaded from the refrigerated trucks and brought directly into the receiving area, where the first task is a thorough quality check. Workers examine each squid for consistency in size, color, and firmness, ensuring that the catch maintains the standards expected for large-scale distribution. From here, the squid enter the initial cleaning line. Under a continuous stream of clean water spraying from overhead systems, skilled workers begin removing the outer skin. The process is done by hand to avoid damaging the mantle, which must stay intact for many of the final cuts. Once the skin is removed, the internal organs are taken out carefully. Each squid contains an ink sac that must be detached without rupturing it, and the workers perform this step with practice precision. Next, the squid are separated into their main components, the mantle, which forms the body, and the tentacles, which many consumers prefer for their texture. Both parts move along the stainless steel tables under constant rinsing. The tentacles go through a quick blanching process just long enough to firm up their structure while keeping their natural bite. This step makes them easier to handle in later stages and preserves the quality expected in the final packaging. The mantles, which are larger and thicker, receive additional washing to remove any remaining fluids or debris. Cleanliness is essential at this stage because the next part of the process relies on smooth, clean surfaces for accurate cutting. Machinery and workers operate side by side, each handling the steps best suited to either precision equipment or careful manual work. Throughout the room, the workflow remains steady and organized, with each team responsible for one part of the transformation. From raw deep sea catch to cleaned and separated components, the squid now take on the form needed for the specialized slicing and shaping that will come next. This careful handling ensures that every piece arriving at the final line meets strict expectations for appearance, freshness, and texture. With the cleaning stage complete, the squid move deeper into the processing line, where precision and consistency become the central focus. The mantles, now fully cleaned and smooth, are guided toward modern cutting equipment designed to produce uniform shapes. Workers position each piece onto the conveyor, and the machine slices the thick mantle into clean, round cuts perfect for packaging or for use in restaurants that prefer even standardized portions. As each cut passes through the machine, it is immediately rinsed again. This extra wash removes any surface residue left from slicing and ensures a clear, fresh appearance. Maintaining this clarity is important, especially for squid rings that will be showcased in transparent packaging for retail markets. The rings then enter a brief blanching stage. This controlled dip in hot water helps enhance the texture, locking in firmness while preserving the natural freshness of the meat. The blanching also prepares the squid for additional processing options that may vary depending on market demand. Some rings will be coated in batter, ready for deep frying applications popular in many kitchens, while others may be marinated to add flavor before packaging. Meanwhile, the remaining parts of the squid pieces that are not suited for ring cuts are handled separately. These portions are carefully trimmed and cut into bite-sized segments that maintain the same standards of cleanliness and uniformity. Many consumers prefer these smaller pieces for stir-fries, soups, 
or mixed seafood dishes, and the plant ensures that they meet the same quality expectations. Across the production floor, workers monitor each section of the process to maintain accuracy and hygiene. Stainless steel tables, constant rinsing systems, and temperature-controlled environments all contribute to the consistency required for large-scale distribution. Whether destined for rings, marinated fillets, or small cut pieces, every portion follows the same standards that begin with careful slicing and end with the final packaging in the next stage. With every cut, ring, and tentacle prepared, the squid reach the final stage of their transformation. This part of the facility is calmer, but the work remains precise. Here, workers arrange finished products into their designated forms. Whole squid for markets that prefer intact seafood, sliced rings for frying or cooking, and pre-cut tentacles for dishes that highlight their firm texture. Each type has its own packaging line, following strict standards to keep the squid clean, fresh, and visually consistent. Sealed packs move along conveyors, passing inspection points where workers check weight, appearance, and seal quality. Any pack that does not meet the standard is pulled from the line. Maintaining airtight packaging is essential. It helps prevent contamination, retain moisture, and keep the squid's natural color and shape during storage. Once sealed and approved, the products enter large industrial freezers. Inside these freezing rooms, low temperatures quickly lock in freshness. This rapid freeze process preserves the texture of the squid and helps prevent large ice crystals from forming. Even after long journeys, the squid can still cook and taste close to its original state when it first left the plant. After freezing, the packages are boxed, labeled, and stacked onto pallets. Warehouse teams prepare each pallet for distribution. Whether destined for domestic buyers or overseas shipping, from restaurants to grocery stores, the squid processed here will soon arrive in kitchens where it is turned into a wide range of dishes. What began as a silent presence in the deep ocean has become a carefully handled product shaped by skilled hands and a clear sequence of steps. From the darkness of the nighttime harvest to the bright, organized processing floor, every stage is designed to protect quality and freshness. It is a journey that connects the power of the sea with the daily meals enjoyed around the world.